version of Walking Blues based on the playing of uh, Johnny Shines and all the other suspects I guess and a bit of my own. Uh, I'm in open G tuning but tuned up a half step so G sharp, open G sharp tuning you could say. So here's it's a D sharp then G sharp, D sharp, G sharp And I'm playing this with a monotonic bass, muted, not like this, all the time, but open and then I mute, which I call the country blues bass. I even made a video about it, so uh, if you look up Daddy Stovepipe country blues bass, you'll find it. So let's start with the intro. That's the first line. I'm sliding to the 12th fret. Let it rain. Accent the fourth beat and then the second string 12th fret. So 11, 12, first string, second string, 11, 12. First string, 12, 11, slide on the second string in. Now I'm using my two fingers and when I play the second string, I rest my second finger on the first string so that eliminates its sounding. And otherwise, if you play it, let's say with one finger, then it becomes a whole mix. Well. That's of course your personal choice. I also like clean sliding. That's why my index finger is resting on the strings behind the slides. And my 
two other fingers are resting on the slide makes the vibrato easier. And you will see that I often do... I move like that, which makes... It's easier to do that. So you're going down, then to keep it straight, and going down, in my opinion. It, it makes a more fluent, smooth move. Like that. So, again, that third uh, bar. And once more. Bar five and six. So, <clears throat> For the the five chord, we're going for a D, and I'm changing the bass to the sixth string. Typical Johnny Shines move. Open. And slide to the 8th fret, first two strings. And you can hang in there as long as you want. And then we're going to our signature link. And now we're going to the verse. I'll play that slowly. Measures are fingered. You can do that with a slide as well. And I'm humming behind that. Following the vocal. Follow the, the guitar line. Again, the length of that <coughs> is, well, your own choice a bit. Uh, you can either hit or play um, the fifth string 
muted and, and really hit it heavily, heavily so the thirds and the fourth string are also ringing. And, and this I'm going, I'm uh, hitting down with my two fingers. So that 11 and 12 bar. And sliding down. Notice the muting, of course. Keep that bass short. Well pronounced, but short. And you can add, and as you can hear, I played around with dynamics there. And then for the the five chord, you know that sweet Seventh fret, fifth and third string. Sorry. Without vocals, it doesn't make much sense, of course. You know that sweet And there's another signature lick. Sliding up and down the first string. And notice again I'm muting the first string by using my two fingers. And I move up. So the, I'm playing that third string with my index and rest my second finger on the second string then. You could do that with that second thing, second finger on the second string. You can do without that, it's only very short. Also down on the, the second string. Now the second verse and the third verse are exactly the same as the first verse, apart from... And that's what I did when I tapped it out, more or less, in the first solo. So you can do, use that move in your uh, vocalized second and third verse. So that solo, the first solo, and you notice I only sing three verses with the two solos. It's long enough. I don't think no Robert Johnson at least certainly doesn't make a solo. Uh, he did on the 29 recordings he made. He played only one solo. Very unfortunately, I think, which makes listening to his records. Uh, tiring experience, I think. It's always saying, saying, saying. Anyway, while well, he was a good guitarist, I, I really, really wonder why he didn't do more solos than just that one solo on Kind Hearted Woman. And even that solo, I think, was an accident. He probably forgot what I'm going to sing now. Oh, well, I do a solo. <laughs> anyway, here's the solo of my Walking Blues. <laughs> Sliding on the third fret, second and the first string. That's the 
Fresh Two Bars. Bars three and four. Again, then bar five. And here, well, <clears throat> let's say I'm going from the fifth fret to the third fret to the seventh fret. And how I do that uh, is different every time, I think. In the tap, it's like this. But I do more a rocking movement between temp and index. It's important that you get that. of bar 9 and bar 10. It's like that. In, uh, index middle, tap, index middle together, and mute. Two fingers together, one for uh, each string, the second and the third string, and the tap. And you let that ring. And then to the eighth fret. Mute. Again, middle and index uh, playing each uh, string, index, and together, the muting makes it all in this uh, lick, with my um, right hand palm. Sliding from the 12th fret to the 3rd fret on the 3rd string. And, and when I arrive at the 3rd fret, a little slide down. And, and a pull off by simply removing the slide, you get the pull off automatically. And our lick. One or twice, um, I think I did it twice in the performance. It's only once in the tab, but you can play it twice if you're playing alone. You can get away with all that. Um, let's play that from the nine bar again. <laughs> Let's change the bass there. And this is the same as before. Part 20. And now we have the second solo. You could add a verse there, the verse like, feel like blowing my old lonesome horn. I dropped that. Um, but here's the second solo. Oh, 
we're sliding in the first bar of the second solo. Fifth fret, eighth fret, twelfth fret. Not in the tab, but I did it anyway. And you play the third fret, third string, slide to the fifth fret, and then I'm not picking again. This is the same as, but on the second string, because we are there. And here I'm really taking care of that muting thing. Uh, now I'm going to play that second string. That up and down, fifth, fifth and to sixth fret and down. And my middle finger is resting on the first string. You see? That stops. And I'm doing the same thing. I pick this with the index finger. And with the index finger I'm going to the seventh fret. And my second finger is resting on the second string. So another Otherwise, I'm going to get that. So. And again, I'm not picking there. Seventh fret, yes. Going down to the third fret and the second fret. Let's play that whole section from the top. In the 10 bar, I'm playing that with the temp, really accepting and let it ring into the next beat. And then we have the signature lick. And that's a variation of uh, what we've seen before. Um, instead of playing once, I'm going to play it a couple times. Notice the accenting, the crescendo. Now that 
signature lick you can do that either without the bass or with the bass. And the end tack, well I didn't play exactly like what the tap says, but more or less. So it's the worst. And now we're going to the end. That's pretty straightforward, that's our signature lick. That's what I did. That's it for walking loose. Have fun with it. <laughs>